What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we are doing episodes 33 and 34. First one is called We Are the Serene High Basketball Team. I'm excited to find out what's going on with Kiyoshi, finish his backstory with Junpei, get us re going into these next matches, get us going against these disloyal uh, Hanamiya. I forget the, the team name, but I'm very excited. Just know if you guys want early access and the full length uncut episodes up to four episodes ahead, check out that Patreon down below. Also, make sure you guys subscribe and click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Other than that, let's hop right on into this. Kuroko no Basket, episode 33. We are the Savoring High basketball team. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Episode 33. Right, we got to the root of his issues, and even he's thinking about it, you know, doing a little self reflection. This was the, the first time they declared their intent as a group together. We swear an oath. Oh, yeah, look at all the look at all the students down there. Shouts out, Kiyoshi. Rika wasn't even involved in this. It's crazy now. She's the one having us do this later on. This is all Kiyoshi's idea. Miso Bay's like, really? I gotta do this? I gotta do this? Shouts out my boys. He's here. He came. Wait for me. It's not over yet. Ooh, whipped out the old shoes. Look how much work and use he's putting into those. What would that be? Damn. It's a fair reason, my friend. Call yourself out. <laughs> oh, so Kiyoshi started this ritual, but Junpei is the one that added the crazy twist. If you don't do it, we're going to confess naked. Now they're holding them to it. You better keep that promise, Mo Trucker. <laughs> Alright, this is the beginning of our squad. Oh wow. <laughs> I mean she is the daughter of an of a professional athlete trainer, right? So she she's the real deal. Yeah, but it doesn't matter about that. It really is not about who's the best. It's about who holds this team together. Firmly agree with my man Kiyoshi here. Ooh, with the music playing too? Come on. Step by step. I actually really enjoy this song too. Look at this. Hells yeah. Team photo. The Iron Heart Kiyoshi going crazy. Good steal, Kogane. Over to Izuki with the eagle eye. Over to Junpei, and you know that man's got the wet jumper. <laughs> it's not even our name. We're Serene High basketball team. Come on, I knew he was going to say it right there. It's a squad. Is he already noticing the, a little bit of like his injury going to hit him later on, or what, what's going on? What did he notice? And then that's why he's the iron hard. Got your back like always. <laughs> I hate you, but that's out Junpei, man. <laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs
There he is. We're going in order of like... Ooh, Levi. And then where's Kuroko? We're not even going to notice him, huh? He's not even talking. Well, no one ever noticed Kuroko back in the day. <laughs> Again, no one notices Kuroko. Little do they know that that, <laughs> that that would be one of the star members of their team that has walked past them that they never even paid attention to. What would that be? Okay, great pass over to Junpei. Wet. Shouts out my man, Junpei. Together they really do make a nasty combo. Yoshi and Junpei. <laughs> They say so many things that I say, and I, I'm just glad I'm on the same page as them. <laughs> oh, he is. He's noticing his knees. What's going on? It is Hanamiya. Okay. How so? What are you going to do? So he's finally coming out. To do some dishonest shit. Yeah. Look at his big ass eyebrows. What's he gonna do? See, this is this is what I'm curious about. What kind of sneaky, shady shit can you do in basketball? Okay, decent pass. That was a fair drive. What was that about? Yeah, regular play. Can he tell that Kiyoshi's not feeling too well on his knees? A run and gun. I love that tactic. Quick passes, quick coordination, quick offense. Brazen attacks. We got it. My condolences for what? Oh, the way he landed. Oh my god. That would do fucking horrors for your knee. I mean, you did say my condolences before he even injured himself. What is this, classroom of the elite now? Do you have any proof? And so this is why they never made it. They lost, or they won by one. Oh my god, they still made it in the Champions League. I wonder what the actual diagnosis is. I'm, I'm not too much of an expert on, like, knee injuries more, you know. Yeah. He's not going to be able to play for at least, I mean. Uh, there's definitely no way it's just a sprain. Because we're still dealing with it, like, currently, in present day, you know? There's just no way. I've heard stories of football players. I don't know about basketball players, but they'll break in a, a limb and they'll keep playing. Like, they really, they're fucking crazy, you know? Don't be hiding things from your captain, though. Facts. After surgery and rehab. By the time I graduate high school. So does he end up skip? Yeah, I guess so. He ends up skipping the surgery, goes straight into physical therapy, rehabilitation, and then just tries it out. That's why he's still dealing with it present day. Well, that's why this current year we have with Kagami and Kuroko is our last year playing. I feel like this is like Kaguya-sama now. Like, I had, did not have an impending timer and an expiration date in my head, but now we have a time limit. We need to do this, you know? Damn. <laughs> I got goosebumps right now. I really do. Especially knowing their backstory and how they started, you know, as rivals. Like, he said he hated him, but <laughs> Junpei is really stepping it up. Junpei really is the GOAT. There's a reason he's the captain of the squad, you know? God damn. Junpei really is a, a different kind of man. Shouts out to good friends, man. Understandable. I get it. Damn, man. <laughs> that episode felt like it was five minutes long. God damn. 
Damn it. All right, on to episode 34. This one is called I Will Defeat You. And that's that. That's how that story happened. And, <laughs> and now Junpei is the man we know today. Fully understand. Fully get that. Feels weird actually being back to present day after being in the past so long. Was that Sakurai? So that has to be Aomine in there. So this is Toho. Oh shit, we got Kisei and uh, Kaijo here. Then we have Toho, Aomine, and all them here. All we need is Midorima and Shutoku. Yeah, the ones who uh, took Kiyoshi out of the game last time. Now I know some a little bit more significance of of this big eyebrowed fuck. He's thinking, yeah, he, and we got we got mm, we got two boys that we didn't have last year with us this year. It'll make a difference for sure. Hell yeah. But we still definitely do have to worry about him, Hanamiya, because he still has that snap and he still has the signal. He can do at any point, you know. They gotta do what they can do. I get it. First years, you know. They're gonna give you their spirit bomb energy, you know. So more people know. <laughs> Someone told me in the comments that the creator of Kuroko has confirmed that Yoshi and Rico used to date. That's why Rico calls him his, his first name. But like, it's not like a. Obviously, they're not dating anymore. But I just love that. I could totally picture them dating. You know. I am very glad we got our boys watching. It is a very decisive game right here. Great, we got the first tip off. The run and gun style. Yeah, Aomine is already like, what is he doing with the ball? Normally he wouldn't hold it for longer than a 0.5 of a second. And he's gone. He's behind you. Okay, an alley-oop. Great. Over to Kiyoshi. I thought he was shooting it. I was about to say, Kuroko is setting this off hot. <laughs> Facts. Imayoshi is such an analytical, ob observative person that I love. I could hear him fucking commentate every game, to be honest. That's a horrible thing to say. But there is some merit to that. I'm glad everyone is keeping that mentality going into this, right? Not only do we have to beat him and we have vengeance, but we got to keep calm, you know, make sure that he doesn't do any fucking shady shit on us. Okay, screen. Yeah, a sh fucking shoulder screen in your face. These people are so annoying. And he's, that could have been horrible. These guys don't give a fuck. Yeah, understandably. If I'm playing against this team, I'm fucking wearing, wearing brass knuckles or some shit. I'm ready to swing, I'm telling you. Fuck these guys. Bro, that shit is... If you... Who tanked it? Okay, good. Good man. Right? <laughs> no, you're not. I mean, you are, but you're not. I'm getting... Like, I didn't think I would be getting this physically angry. I'm getting pissed off for my squad. Like, this is some bullshit. Mm. I love characters like Kiyoshi. There's one thing to fuck with him, but it's a whole other thing to go after the people he cares about and protects. Oh god, that's why I love Seirin. That's what I'm saying. Is the ref fucking blind? Yeah, it's kind of like being good at stealing. You know, it's a it technically is a latent ability you can have, but like dodge it this time, right? 
I could knock the wind out of you. I could fucking, depending on how big you are, I could break a rib. Man, just straight elbowed him in the chest. That's what I'm saying. You're lucky you don't swing, get swung on. Obviously, Kagami's in the wrong to do that because he'll get ejected immediately, and that's way more of a flagrant, vibrant thing you could do, but... Right? Don't get me wrong. Kuroko is 100% in the right here. There's just, there's just a certain limit I could take before I'm going to start swinging. I'm sorry. I firmly agree. Let's keep this to basketball and basketball only. I would like to think I could be like Kuroko in this situation. Just be calm, cool, and collected the whole time. I would like to hope, but I might be like Kagami, you know? Damn, bro. You know, but let me let me sh shoulder the brunt of this bullshit. Which he'd prefer that, honestly. Yoshi would tank all the hits if it meant you guys not being hit. You know, that's just the kind of good man he is. Damn. He's like, this is literally all I can do right now. This is my entire drive. Don't take this away from me. God damn. And he breaks through it. Oh my God. He's the iron heart. Bro, this guy deserves the world. Kyoshi is the goat. What quarter is this? I don't know if my man can handle two more quarters of this. Are we? We're not even at half yet. You see the like? What a, like? There's just no way the ref's not seeing some of this. Come on. <laughs> That's quite the compliment from Almine. I didn't see the score. It looked like we were tied. Yo, ref. I have a skin disease that keeps turning my skin blue. Like, no, ref. Look at this. One of them blocks the referee's vision. The other two, that's such... Like, it's so smart, but it's so, like... If only they put that much effort and time into actually getting better at the game, you know? If you miss, Kiyoshi's gonna get fucking brutalized. Please go in. That was a great steal. Over to Kagami. He's about to be two-manned. Yes. Yes. And he drew the charge. Yeah, uh-huh. This man, being able to stay positive and upbeat even through all this. I don't know, man. Ignoring him, yeah, that's the one thing that'll get him the most. I just, there's not many people I wish horrible things upon, but <laughs> Hanamiya is getting to that point. And he's gonna land, oh my god, he's gonna land directly on him. That could crush his leg, that could... You just... Mans could have a concussion, mans could be knocked out. That's horrible. Yeah, little do you know, my man is not called Ironheart for no reason, you know? Unless I'm first hearing about them. God damn it. He decided from literally back then. I'll be their splint. I'll be the thing that holds them together. This man is the goat of this team. I'll be, oh my lord. This dude is the goat. You think you're gonna break him and turn him into trash? He's literally, oh my god, bro. Look at this dude. All right, that was some fantastic episodes. I loved the backstory with Kiyoshi and his relationship with Junpei and how that's developed over time. 
and I love how oh, he, he he did start this team and he's the fulcrum, the center point. He's everything this team was and is currently. And Yoshi is, is the, the the goat. He, he truthfully is like it's crazy. And I love how even when his even though he was saying it, his spirit was somewhat broken. It's kind of like what Junpei said. Like even though he wasn't gonna outward say it, he really did not believe he they the squad could beat Taiko or the likes of these god tier prodigies. And so then Junpei was like, okay, if you're not gonna believe, that's fine. I'll believe. I'll believe enough for all of us. And and then them like it's it's Kiyoshi inspiring Junpei who inspires Kiyoshi who inspires the team who inspires Junpei who inspires the team who inspires Kiyoshi who insp like it's a never that's why they're so good so fast you know it's because uh, I don't know man they're just ooh, they're one of the goat squads they truthfully are they're, God this is actually crazy I fucking I hate Hanamiya I hate the rest of his team. Kiyoshi's the best. I'm so glad Aomine and Kisei are, are here watching this game. I don't even know what else I can say, man. I We need to be the best team in Japan this year. I would have been like, okay, well, let's have a time skip. We can do it next year, whatever. Would it? No, for Kiyoshi's sake, I am not going to have anything less than us being it this year. We need to do it. God, these were some... I want to watch more of the show right now. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Just absolutely fantastic episodes. Don't forget to check out that Patreon, early access, full length, all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water, even though this looks like piss. I swear this is water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.